Christian American is asking, as China is officially an atheist state, would the non-superstitious ideologies of Marxist, Marxism, Leninism, Maoism, and Xi Jinping thought, new Confucianism circa uh, 1900s common era, not the neo-Confucianism of uh, circa 1900 common era, and the miscellaneous CCP economic policies be outside the atheist republic purview? Okay, what? if you mean... So you're just talking about kind of the amalgamation of many ideologies that kind of influence and give rise to, um, yeah, kind of a this diffuse and multifaceted attitude or ideology that we see rising out of China currently. Um, I don't Wait, think what's that's the outside question? the atheist republic. What's the question? I, don't I think they mean like outside of pur purview in terms of what we go after, what we criticize. I don't think it's outside of that at all. I think we just need um, oh, to no. learn a lot more and gain a lot more specific understanding to be able to get. Oh a no, we're gonna analysis. eventually, like in the next couple of years, we're gonna move heavily, more heavily into this. Like China, this is very much in a part of our yeah, like it's going to take a while for us to become more involved in it and more educated in it as well. And I'm hoping like maybe Asian American could like be involved in um, us moving more into that direction. But I mean, China is going to be a major part of the future's entire global politics. Right. And they, they're going to be, they're heavily moving into, and it's a huge mix of, a, a, a giant bag of contradictory <laughs> ideologies that they're going to be using, not weaponizing as propaganda for China's branding entire in, in the entire world, right? And a lot of people, a lot of a, the atheist community is not even equipped uh, to hand to hand. Like it's, these these ideologies are not just going to be um, the the branding of these ideologies which is going to be separate from what actually the ideologies are and the way they're going to be used as a way for China to spread its propaganda around the planet, because this is not going to be China's China has like three different um, fronts when it comes to trying to exert its power around the globe, right? It's going to be military power, uh, trading and economic power. And it's the third one is going to be ideological and cultural uh, soft power, right? So it's going to be, it's definitely going to lean into using its soft power. And using its soft power involves um, in, using its history and its cultural past um, and its branding of things that people, Westerners, a lot of people celebrate as something exotic and Eastern as a cover for, you know, for promoting things that are CCP, pro CCP, right? So the the communist brand is not something that you could just like come out in like i don't know in the united states and uh north america or western europe or other places to come be like oh they look at the superior way of the way to, like i know that china is not communist <laughs> anymore but they still have the communist branding internally but externally the communist branding doesn't work well for advertising so confucianism and you know mm, Taoism, I think they're going to lean mostly into Confucianism. That is really going to something that they have shown to be leaning into. Like even though Mao and initial communists were like very much against Confucianism, now they the current situation is that they're leaning into it because they know that that's the branding that they could rely on for um, external soft power, right? Um, so taking advantage of that is something that we need to guard against and we need to be aware of, but also not just for, not just because it's going to leave uh, China, also for the sake of understanding what's happening in China internally, these ideologies are going to mix and match with each other. They're going to, they're going to be contradicting each other. They're going to be fighting each other or they're going to change each other. They're going to be working with each other. Sometimes they're going to mix with each other. So that's going to be very interesting to watch. And given that we're hoping that at some point, the the barriers between the chinese people uh, and the rest of the world at some point the, the this the new chinese wall is going to collapse right just like the berlin wall is a collapse we're hoping for the the you know this you know hypothetical chinese wall that exists between because like i don't i want the ccp's grip on chinese people to fail, to, to fail at some point and for that wall to be broken down at some point because i don't want us to come to be 
creating two different civilizations where um, the mixing and matching is so little that at some point we can't even recognize each other, um, you know, culturally and like communicate like value wise and everything. Right. So I know they're trying to like different nations try to raise their people uh, in a bubble. I'm very familiar with that, given that I'm from I was raised. I was like, I grew up in Iran. Um, and You're I, like, <sighs> tell yeah. me about it. <laughs> No, like I, I need that needs to fail, right? That needs to fail, right? So it's not just because. So we're very much interested in China, not just because of what China's influence is, is going to be on the rest of the world going forward in the next couple of decades, but also for because of what's happening in China itself, right? We, the China, like a lot of people when they talk about China, they, they're talking about as if the Chinese people are these others and it's us and them, right? But Chinese people, they're, they're like, they're, they're like, they're us, right? They're like, this is like, we're, this is our, our fellow earthlings, <laughs> right? So, I mean, they're one in eight of us, right? So that's a, that's a huge chunk of us as the human race, okay? So we should, we should really much care about what's happening to them and also to see when, how, how we could turn down walls and build more bridges, right? I yeah, agree. I, That's I very Yeah. Also, like this, I don't like people saying I don't like China. Okay. You, I think, like guys, we should like change our language to. I, I, I need to be more careful about this as well. Okay. We don't like the CCP. Okay. We very much like China. We very, very much like China. Okay. Um, it's a huge part of our planet. Okay. This is our like we can like, yeah, we care for the Chinese people. Yeah. Yeah. One of the most like incredible civilizations in the world like we can't just mm. dismiss it all because we really freaking hate <laughs> their current government oh my god this is this so yeah i've seen this in the persian side as well interesting wait really the same th okay so saying he's saying um gaijin american saying prc is using the uh tang is that saying dynasty mm -hmm. shelter of the of the Sassanid royal family as an early form of first friendship. Oh, that's amazing because we actually, I've actually seen that because China and Iran, are, China and the, the CCP and the Islamic Republic of Iran are becoming closer and closer together. And I've seen the same propaganda from the Islamic Republic side as well to show like they, they have history with each other and, you know, Muslims and Chinese people got along. You know what I recommend if I was part of the propaganda arm of all of this? I don't know if that will work. We could also like, no, actually, I don't know if that will work. I was going to say like, they were also both the victims of um, Mongolian invasions and stuff like that. Because like, I don't know. No, that's not going <laughs> to work. Oh my God. That's not going to work. Well, they're trying yeah. to build upon the idea of like civilizational alliance. Like it's not so crazy that we're working together. It's been like this all along. Um, okay, I have to highlight this. Sorry, I know we need to get into the next question because the level of self-awareness here is very amazing. Like, just read what you're just saying, okay? So um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Okay, so I'm going to say CA. Like, li li listen to what you're saying. Saying, I don't like China. In general, they are racist. Read that again, but slowly, okay? Just read what you just wrote and think about how what you're saying there's a level of hypocrisy i'm not going to point it out the level of hypocrisy in this very short sentence okay but just look at it just look at your own sentence and see like why is this sentence like self-contradictory okay like just think about it okay just take all the time you need all right i hope you get it okay so. <laughs> take all the time you need <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, did you know that March 23rd is Atheist Day? You should use the hashtag, hashtag Atheist Day and post a picture of yourself with a green circle to let other people know that there are a lot more of us out there than many people expect and to help normalize atheism. You can draw it on your hand or on a piece of paper or other creative ways, so long as it's safe for you. This is also not exclusive to atheists. If you think that shunning or demonizing atheists is not okay, make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag atheist day on March 23rd to let your atheist friends know that you accept their non-belief. Happy atheist day.